Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Ibrahim Umar, and today we'll be making a water animation in SolidWorks. I have already created the two parts. One part is lid, and the other is mug, and we'll be creating one part in assembly. So let's go to here new, and click assembly, and click OK. And now we are in SolidWorks interface. SolidWorks assembly is asking parts. So first, I will drag this uh, mug, open, and. Uh, now this mug is fixed in SOLIDWORKS, right? Because first part that you uh, assemble in SOLIDWORKS uh, is fixed uh, by default. So let's go to here, insert components again. And now I will uh, assemble this uh, lid. Okay. Uh, next is I will mate this lid with this uh, mug. So let's go to here, mate and select this uh, surface, cylindrical surface and select this and uh, uh, it is mated as concentric mate and click OK. Now I can drag this here to here. Okay. Uh, let's change the background uh, to plain white. And now I will uh, make uh, a body and uh, I'll be sketching on this lid uh, on the back side of this lid. Uh, I'll not go to here sketch, but I will go to here insert and click here new part. Right. Just rotate it and select this side of the lid. And uh, now I will go to here uh, uh, convert entities and I will convert this uh, uh, this edge right and click OK. Uh, next is I will go to here features extruded boss and uh, I can drag it to here. But as you can see that uh, the inside part of the mug uh, is uh, uh, let's say uh, there is a flit and this extrusion is uh, a solid single extrusion right so let's change this to let's say up to body and click here uh, I think it will work and click OK uh, let's say I'll go to here and uh, now you can see that uh, it took uh, exactly this shape okay uh, just uh, uh, drag this to here okay uh, uh, now uh, we'll go to here um, uh, motion study and uh, we'll do a basic uh, uh, animation there uh, let's change the uh, color of this uh, uh, of this part this uh, newly created part and this led and uh, let's say uh, I'll go to here uh, let's uh, let's say here organic water and uh, let's go to here still water okay that's fine so let's uh, position our mug for the animation uh, I think that's fine uh, so let's go to here motion study and uh, first uh, I will drag this uh, to here let's say uh, uh, 10 seconds and uh, let's go to here and let's drag this to uh, this side okay and click here uh, rebuild uh, and now you can see the animation uh, animation timeline uh, okay uh, let's say I want uh, uh, one second pause so let's uh, uh, right click here and make a key and also a key here uh, right let's drag this to uh, uh, here 21 seconds because this is a 10 second uh, one second pause and then uh, 10 second uh, animation okay let's go to here again and let's select this part and uh, let's drag this to upside okay rebuild and uh, just drag this to here and now we will calculate uh, now you can see that it is going downward first and uh,
uh, and now you can see that uh, one second pause and then it is going upward right uh, okay uh, I think frames per second is uh, uh, very low so let's go to here and uh, let's change this to let's say 50 seconds uh, per frame click ok and click here calculate again okay so we are done and uh, uh, let's play the animation and i think it's better 50 frames uh, per second and first it is going downward and then uh, uh, there will be a one second pause and then it is going upward right uh, so here uh, make it a stop and uh, just click here uh, and now let's say I'll, I'll go to here a display manager and uh, just drag this to here uh, now you can see the uh, uh, appearance that I have applied uh, high blue uh, sorry blue high uh, gloss plastic to this top part this bottom part and this handle and uh, glass sand blasted to this part uh, let's say this side and the uh, uh, inside part of this mug so that I can uh, uh, see through uh, okay and uh, well uh, the important trick is uh, uh, don't constrain your geometry just drag your geometry and then update in uh, animation and uh, uh, it will be very easy and uh, very effective animation and you can make uh, uh, quite uh, uh, complex animations as well with these keyframes uh, quite easily uh, okay so that's it for uh, uh, today's tutorial i hope you like it and if you have any questions any queries related to this or any other tutorial in my list you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects thank you